Businesses here in upstate New York are now required to pay employees almost a dollar more than they did in 2016. Minimum wage is now increased by 70 cents as part of a gradual effort to eventually hit 1250 an hour. WENY's Kara Demers spoke to a local business owner about how those here in the southern tier are being affected and what customers might be able to expect. As of the new year, minimum wage here in upstate New York is now $9.70. And here in the southern tier specifically, local business owners are saying that they're now beginning to see and feel those effects. All of our um, vendors had to increase prices all the way from our distributors all the way up. So uh, unfortunately, we had to raise just a, a few things. Uh, we didn't want to skip on quality. We have always the freshest food. Um, didn't want to skip on portions. So a few select items had to, we had to raise prices. While this seems to be the case for a lot of businesses, prices are just one thing we can expect to change in the new year. This is the first step in a gradual process to eventually raise minimum wage to $12.50 an hour by 2020. Unfortunately, this means it isn't always possible for owners to continue running business as usual. You might be looking at um, businesses that are certainly evaluating their staffing structures, um, potential reductions or you know, just some kind of a change. Or you have to maybe have one or two people on instead of three people on in the last few hours. So you may have to wait a little bit longer, you know, for your food just because you just can't support having the amount of people per shift. New York City will see an even more drastic hike, setting minimum wage at 1050 for small businesses with a dollar fifty annual increase over the next few years. And while the annual raise may only be 70 cents here, many business owners are still looking for a way to balance both paying employees and still being affordable. Unfortunately, it's the cost of doing business and uh, it's good for, to pay, like I said, to pay our, our people what they're worth, but, but people just kind of need to unfortunately understand that, that as costs go up, the food's going to have to go up. Reporting in Corning, Kara Demers, WENY News.